Good morning and welcome to Bay Area Focus. I'm your host, Michelle Griego. If you have show ideas, we would love to hear them. Just visit us at facebook.com slash Bay Area Focus. Kicking our show off today is the always innovative and entertaining San Francisco Playhouse. They are celebrating the company's 15th anniversary with an amazing lineup of productions. Co-founder Susie Damilano has stopped <laughs> by our studio to tell us just what to expect. Hi, Susie. Hi, Michelle. All thanks right. for having me. Yes, thanks for coming on the show. Uh, okay, so many people might not know this, but the San Francisco Playhouse is the second largest theater in San Francisco, yeah. not because of the size of the venue, but because of um, people who support the theater. Right. We have, uh, we've been around now, we're going to start our 15th season, and five of those years we've been in the heart of Union Square inside the Kensington Park Hotel on the second floor and you would not believe how many people still don't know about us but we have a huge base of subscribers and supporters that come to see our shows because we offer a real broad variety of plays everything from musicals to cutting edge off-Broadway type plays. And it's a very intimate experience in the Playhouse. Yeah, we took the theater that is up there. It was originally a 700 seat theater and we brought it down to 200 seats and we curved the seats so they're kind of hugging the stage. And what we like to think of the theater is a, an empathy gym where people come in and practice the powers of compassion and we exhibit that within our staff. Everyone just welcomes and knows everyone by first name and that's the feedback we get from most patrons is they just feel like they've come home to friends when they come into the theater. That is great. You describe the work done at the Playhouse as making the edgy accessible and the traditional edgy. Explain that idea. <laughs> well, we, I, I love that tr the sentence of that because we love cutting edge plays. We also love musicals. So what we try to do is, but I don't come from a theater background. My family didn't really do theater. So I wanted to have a theater where everyone felt like they could come and not feel dumb because they didn't understand the events. So we take the edgy ones and make it accessible to the general public, but then we take the more well-known plays and find a way to ramp them up a bit and make them more edgy. Tell me about the lineup this season. Oh, it's going to be so great. We are starting the season with a show called Barbecue, which hasn't been done on the West Coast. And of course, it's got these amazing twists in it that I'll ruin if I tell you everything. <laughs> but it it tackles, like it starts with one cast of Caucasians at a barbecue about to do an intervention. And then the next scene is the exact same characters, but they're African American. And the reason, okay, I can't tell you. <laughs> you can't tell me why. <laughs> because there's twists and turns that happen and you find out why. And the payoff is so big and so wonderful that um, I'm just going to make you come see it, Michelle. You know what? I, I'm sold. You, you, you got me there. It's mystery. Yes, I'm, I'm good. Uh, so you, you are both a director and an actor. Yes. And you're actually starring in a play that's yes. premiering in the Bay Area. Yes, it's a premiere right now. It's called The Roommate, written by Jen Silverman, who is 29 years old and was inspired to write a play about two badass women in their 50s. <laughs> <laughs> so myself and the other actress, Julia Brothers, um, we read the play and just decided we had to do this together. And we're having so much fun because it's not only, it's hilarious, it's touching, and it's a thriller. Some people call it um, the odd couple that turns into Breaking Bad. <laughs> okay. All right. That sounds yeah. good too. Yeah. So you are an actor, director. Do you have a preference? Which one? You know, I people ask me that a lot, and it's a great question. But I, I love them both because as an actor, I learn how to be a better director, and as a director, I learn how to be a better actor. And by knowing both, I feel like I bring the whole package, and it's it's fun as a director because you're birthing a baby basically mm -hmm. every time you put on a show and as an actor you just are part of the experience and you don't have to worry about the whole production value so it's it's kind of it's a vacation and yet it's more work so it's, it's kind of a weird concept. I get that I get that <laughs> um, you know on the Playhouse stages we see actors from New York mm -hmm. and we also see local actors to grace the stage have you ever had any actors who have been on the stage and then gone on to bigger stages? Yes well 
the Bay Area is full of so much incredible talent and people that work here work in television, um, film, and of course, I'm going to brag. Um, I've done, we've done about five shows with David Diggs, who, who you may, I love. <laughs> you love David Diggs. Who, can, who he's the nicest person on the planet. So I'm so, Tony Award winner. Yes, for played Thomas Jefferson and Lafayette, Lafayette in yes. Hamilton. Mm -hmm. And now he's on television. He's about to come out in some movies, and he's still just a down to earth guy that is amazing. Um, and right now, another one of the actors that was in our uh, season last year, she's in Groundhog Day, um, Taylor Great. Jones. So I think we'll be hearing a lot more about her, too. Great. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. I'm going to have to go see the name of that play. What is it? The Roommate. The Roommate. All right. To get your tickets and find out about the coming season, just log on to sfplayhouse.org. Coming up after the break, we have a special interview with a San Francisco 49er.